Hello everyone. Welcome to Kaviation Engineering YouTube channel. So uh, today uh, I'm going to do uh, another lesson. So another series. It's uh, start uh, called as uh, AC generation under AT chapter uh, 24 electrical power. So this is the first lesson under AC generation. Uh, this is a general description and uh, IDG uh, description. So uh, if you still watch, if you still not watch uh, regarding the general uh, uh, lesson series in uh, AT chapter 24 electrical uh, system, uh, please watch and then come to uh, this uh, chapter because uh, AC generation also another part and then I will do this generation and all the <coughs> systems. So. Um, uh, if you still not uh, watch, uh, 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 if you still not watch and subscribe my uh, channel, uh, please subscribe and also share uh, my channel with your friends, relatives. And again, I want to say thank you uh, because my channel already reached thousand subscribers. So uh, I'm really happy. So uh, I will upload uh, more videos, and I'm sure these videos will help for you to uh, increase your uh, improve your knowledge all right so uh, now let's go to the lesson all right so uh, today lesson is 80 chapter 24 electrical power ac generation lesson number one general description and idg description all right okay now uh, let's go to the lesson contain okay uh they have two chapters right the first one is general description and next one is uh, idg description under general description uh, you can learn about normal operation and uh, abnormal operation and the idg descriptions you can see the general and uh, generator drive and speed control and control and monitoring all right okay so let's go to the first one uh general description all right uh yeah the objective of this lesson is to give the general description of the AC generation system in either normal or abnormal operation. Okay, all right. Uh, you can see, right? You can see uh, this is generator one, uh, generator two, APU generator, external power, right? All right, okay. So let's see the gen one, gen two, and APU generator monitored by generator control. Just remember gen one. Gen, uh, gen 2 and APU gen are monitored, right? Are monitored by generator control unit. Okay, you can see uh, uh, gen 1 is monitored from generator control unit, uh, GCU N3, right? Uh, generator control unit N2, N1, right? So it, just remember generator 1, generator 2, and APU generator are monitored by generator control unit, okay? So these computers receive various parameters, right? This computer receives, right? GCU receive various parameters from the corresponding generator, processing them, and if they are correct, provide control signal to generator line contact. It means they, uh, the generator control unit receive various parameters corresponding to the generator processing uh, generator, right? Corresponding to the generator it means GCU one, uh, GCU one will get uh, the various parameters from generator one right so like this and uh, they are processing and then if it is correct uh, it's provide control signal to the generator line contact here is the generator line contact okay so for the external power generation for the external power generation okay the ground power control unit gpcu has the same function and the uh, generator control unit but monitors and ground power unit parameter right it means uh, the generator power generation the <coughs> ground power control unit gpc has the same function as the gc but monitors the ground power unit parameter okay and uh, you can see uh, these are the abbreviations right gcu means generator control unit gpcu means ground power control unit and epc means external power contactor gsc means generator line contactor btc means bus tie contactor and POR means point of regulation. Okay, you can see uh, generators power is 90 kilowatt hours and MPS right voltage at uh, point of regulation is 115 volt and frequency is 400 hertz and speed uh, 12,000 RPM and phase number three. Okay, phase three. All right, uh, now let's go to the abnormal operation, right? Abnormal operation, this is the abnormal operation you can see, right? 
if one generator parameter is not correct if one generator parameter is not correct the associated gcu right associated gcu send a signal to trip the glc and trigger a warning it means if one generator parameter is not correct if one at least one is not correct then the associated gcu generator control unit will send a signal to trip the generator line contact and trigger a warning right so that is the abnormal operation okay all right so now let's go to the number two idg description you can see this is the uh, uh the real picture of idg right so this is the integrated drive generator over there uh quick attach the chat uad over there right uad over there all right uh, uh the purpose of this section the purpose of this section is to describe in detail the operation and function of the integrated drive generator all right okay okay you can see the, the, the diagram right here the variable input drive shaft right this is the engine accessory gearbox right so this is the input step up gear and differential gear output speed 2000 rpa this is the permanent uh, magnet generator this is a three phase 400 hertz generator right uh, you see the PMG supply to GCU, right? It means permanent magnetic generator supply to generator uh, control unit, right? Right. Uh, field excitation. Here is the field excitation, right? See the variable unit, fixed unit, hydraulic trim unit over there is the mechanical governor and oil system charge pump, gen, uh, uh, deaerator, de scavenge pumps, all right? This is generator control unit, is the electric, uh, elect, elect panel. In the cockpit, right? This is for the ITG one generator one. All right, let's see. Uh, number one, two point one general, right? So the each uh, engine drive is associated integrated drive generator through the accessory gearbox. Each engine drive its associated integrated drive generator. It means each engine will drive the associated ITG through uh, engine accessory gearbox, right? So the drive speed varies according to the engine rating. So the IDG is split into two parts, right? IDG is split into two parts. That is the drive, right? The drive and the generator. Okay, so you can see this is the drive and this is the generator. Okay, right. So the IDG is cool and lubricated by the IDG oil, right? So remember, IDG or IDG is cooled and lubricated by the IDG oil. Okay, right. Uh, now next one generator drive generator drive this is the generator drive right okay let's see using the variable input speed right the using the variable input speed the generator drive produces a constant speed on the output shaft via the variable ratio differential remember right using the variable input shift this is the variable input speed shaft right variable input sheet the generator drive produces a constant speed of the output shaft via the ratio differential okay ratio differential so the output constant speed is regulated at 12000 rpm remember the output uh, the speed should be 12000 rpm right this is the drive right this is differential gear input step up gear right okay so the next one the speed control a mechanical governor right see uh, the mechanical governor here is the mechanical governor Acting on the hydraulic trim unit, acting on the hydraulic trim unit, control the differential gear in order to maintain the constant output speed. It means the mechanical governor acting on the hydraulic trim controls, hydraulic trim controls, the differential gear, differential gear in order to maintain the constant output speed. Okay, so the differential gear also control the oil system. This differential gear also control the oil system pumps in order to lubricate and cool the idg components okay you can see this is the oil system over there all right okay now the control and monitoring right control and monitoring here is the cockpit uh the elect elect uh, control panel okay so now the ac generation is monitored by the generator control Remember the AC generation is controlled by the generator control and I teach you uh, in the beginning of this lesson. So Gen 1 and Gen 2 push button, right? It means Gen 1 and Gen 2 push button control generator excitations via the each generator control unit, right? Excitation. 
for safety reason for safety reason and idg protection for safety reason and idg protection and idg1 or idg2 guarded push button allows manual disconnection of the idg so you can see the manual disconnection here uh, okay uh, it is for the safety reason and idg protection right manual disconnection right uh, not reset of the system can only be performed on the ground remember idg reset can only perform on the ground with engine stopped by pulling the reset handle mounted on the idg case by pulling this one and uh, and we can uh, reset on the ground and also the engine all right and uh, in later in later modules i will teach you uh, what is the function of this uh, inside the drive and the generator and how it is work right so you stick with me all right yeah uh, that is the end of this lesson uh, all right uh, thank you for uh, participating in this lesson and i think uh, you got a good knowledge about ac generation lesson one so actually this is i, I want to uh, describe about uh, idg components and general general of the ac generation so in the later lessons under ac generation it is chapter 24 you can learn more about how uh, the ac generations works and uh, what are the things you have to learn so uh, stick with me and the next lesson i'm going to teach you about uh, idg cooling system right idg cooling system is also very important so stick with the uh, kvision engineering and again i want to tell don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't forget to share these videos with your friends relatives and uh, anyone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance so i think this is the, the number one uh, channel who learn uh, who teach you about aircraft maintenance so uh, just share with your social media so it will help for some someone who are looking forward to get the informations and knowledge about aircraft maintenance all right so uh, again thank you for participating in this lesson and uh, we will stop the lesson so we will meet on next lesson have a good day for all of you